Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today we're going to try Judas again, but on a day where my hands seemingly aren't too interested in getting the character to, to get destroyed. We really just have to destroy Mother. This is an interesting way to die at least, so we're going to at least give that a shot. Uh, that card is also somewhat tempting, but probably will lead to my demise. And let's just use the Book of Belial against this big room, as it will probably at least help out a little bit. If we can get some of these Explosivo tears to blow up some of these rocks, that'd be really nice, but they're not really working out perfectly here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. One bomb would actually be really good right now, just because we can get... Well, a lot of bombs have returned. <laughs> uh, if we could just place it over here, then at least I'd be able to get that chest as well, which would be nice, but... We'll see what we can get, I suppose. Shame about Explosivo not being kind, but that's the way it is from time to time. And a lot of empty rooms here, which is not great, but it doesn't really matter too much. I'm trying to just get some cool Explosivo kills here, but it's not really working out. Admittedly, there's a lot of enemies that just spin around a lot, which probably isn't helping either, but still. It would have been nice. It's also quite nice how Explosivo Tears work against flames and such, and that they just f just go through them and not have to worry about stuff so much, so... Good stuff all around. If I can just get one of these... Uh, yeah, maybe not on those enemies. <laughs> Huge growth, that's obviously really nice. Gurglings... Uh, I'm a little concerned about my key count, actually, if we're trying to go for Mother. But... Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, one... Explosivo shot here is enough to kill the boss, so that's quite nice. And yeah, not much not much going on here. I mean, I can get this great chest with some damage. I can go into the curse room with some damage. I can't realistically do both. Which I don't love. Hmm. Curse room probably isn't gonna give me any consumables. I'm gonna go for the card. Because I like making the worst choice. The tower. Okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. Mm. Let's try using that in the big room. Also, probably should have <laughs> dropped huge growth before doing that, but you know what? Fair enough. Uh, let's see if we can make something work here. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, nope, 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 no, nope, no. Nope. Probably should have just stayed in the middle there, but I yeah, didn't think of that. I did not think of that. I would like to get huge growth back, though, please. Thank you. Uh, eh. At least, at least, at least I'm getting better at that. I figured I, f I would finish that sentence after actually doing it, which was a good idea, I think. Uh, one black heart, which is going to be half a black heart, and one and a half red hearts available right now. I could definitely just go for this chest. Although I did get the key already, so I'm not really that concerned about stuff anymore, I suppose. I'm just going to do it. Two bombs. We no longer have a black heart, which is unfortunate, but we can at least get a couple of bombs here, and that's nice. And depending on what we're going to get from this chest, we are not going to blow up that, because then I won't be able to take the fun route where I wish to be. But we got some bombs, we got some coins, we can check out the shot one more time now that we actually have some money. If there's a soul heart here, I would not say no. Uh, yeah, no, no, this really. <laughs> the sack is like slightly interesting just because it, it gives a little something here, but that's about it. Two bombs remain. I could blow this up. Not a great idea doing it anyway, though. And we got two bombs for our efforts, so... I'm gonna say it was a perfect plan, and now that we got three bombs again, I can actually go and enter my super secret room here as well. And... It... Yeah, okay, well, now we have slightly more information about the remainder of the run, I suppose, which is arguably good, and that's good enough for me. We got two red heart containers, we get decent luck. And uh, we're just gonna go. Let's see if we can take this path without dying today. And I, for one, hope that we can. 
because that would be lovely. It would be nice to get Judas fully completed. It would be nice to just get another character done like that. Uh, immediately lost a Devil Deal chance there on the first room, which is not ideal. Unfortunately, Explosivo does limit my ability to push enemies away, uh, which might end up biting me in the butt. It also is scary in that it will just probably end up damaging me a lot, but hopefully we're gonna be okay here. Trying to get that wriggly boy in the corner there so I can just focus on one thing at a time here. And that does seem to work out. Um, yeah, a little concerned because I wouldn't mind having a Devil Deal, obviously. Since it does make life a little bit easier, I'm just actually going to use this because, quite frankly, I saw how that was going to end. <laughs> that was going to just eat my thing and I, I wasn't going to be happy about it. But we found a way to make it work. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's stop that right now, though. Because I think I got hit by two of those tears, and one of them just, just during the invincibility period. <laughs> ah, Maggie's Faith? That means better than nothing, for sure. So that could be interesting. There's half a heart. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just take it, because I don't have anything better anyway, and that can give me some more health to work with. Uh, let's check out the item room first. Kind of want to check out the shop, but I might... Okay. Never mind. Sometimes the game makes the choices for you. Ooh. Well then. That certainly makes life a lot less complicated. Uh, that just makes life a lot better and then we get... Okay, never mind. The run just became significantly easier than what it was. Alright. Yeah, no worries. It's not a secret room there. That's unfortunate. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, let's just gamble a bit. Tears up, speed down, sand amnesia. Cool. But we also have a large quantity of red hearts. The speed down is rough. I need some more speed now because that is... That's gonna end the, end the boy. <laughs> actually, I guess I should blow up a shopkeeper as well if I haven't already because quite frankly, my devil deal chances are actually pretty good. Even before doing that. Moving box could be kind of interesting. Uh, no speed down, please. Uh, that's also not great. <laughs> Alright, well, with Tech 10, I'm a little bit less interested in Devil Deals. Uh, I would rather just save the health, I think, but... Ooh, this still makes Explosivo, does it? Oh, that's interesting. I was not expecting that to happen, but that is good to know. Stapler is some extra damage. Yeah, alright, let's, let's just keep going. I... Mm. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm temp I was tempted to buy a bomb just because of my whole bomb situation there, but hopefully that's not gonna be necessary. Curse the blind. Hopefully that's not gonna be terrible. We at least did get a devil deal to open up, so that's good. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, outside of not. Also not getting one here, obviously, because we still don't have a lot of defense. We have one eternal hardest defense right now, which is not ideal. Uh, should I gamble this? It's not a great idea, but it's fun. It didn't matter. Sprinkler could actually be kind of okay, but... Hmm. <laughs> if I had a school bag, I'd definitely go for it, because that does seem fun. Especially during the uh, actual mother fight. I think that would be pretty powerful. Uh, let's just ignore that for now. We'll think about that a little bit later. Thinking about what to do here, because there... Uh, I got three bombs now, so I could blow up some of those flames if need be. I, I really just like some more health to play around with, because quite frankly, there's a lot of tears in these here floors, and... I'd love to make my life a little bit easier on myself, other than obviously having Tech 10, which is great. But I guess if I find a Tinted Rock somewhere, I could just use that instead. Uh, and, and still save two bombs for that door at the very end here. As long as I got those two bombs available at the end, then it doesn't really matter what I do, but I do have to have those bombs available, obviously. Uh, am I gonna gamble? Or should I just take a soul heart? You know what? <laughs> Let's not overcomplicate things here. It's probably for the best that I just take this soul heart for now, because quite frankly... I think that's all I really need. Tech 10 is just a build on itself, even now. Tech 10 Explosivo is almost certainly gonna hurt me in the long run, but we're gonna we're gonna see what happens here. 
What boss is this? Wormwood? I'm just gonna use this. I don't think I'm gonna do him a second time as the last either. I'm just gonna get that key piece and walk away. That's so many bombs! Oh, that's so many explosivo tears on the boss there. Oh god, that's not a great place, but it worked out. I did not anticipate... Um... Explosivo working that way, and it is really doing a lot of damage here. Well... Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the other choice was, but... So much for choices. Let's just open this first. Check out if there's anything waiting for us here. Couple barrels. Would have been fun if I just jumped into a hole by accident, because I can definitely see myself doing that, but if I'm being honest, but worked out. I'll take the death card with me, actually. I'll take huge bro growth when we move out of the floor. Where's the white flame? Here it is. I kind of want to check out the curse room as well, but I don't know if I should. Um, tricky. Tricky business. Also, the secret room could very much be here. And it's not. It's probably next to the big room then. Which was the other option, but there's only so many bombs in this world at the end of the day. Uh, no, 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 no. No no fancy business. We're just gonna go. <laughs> We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go for the key piece and then I'm going to leave. I don't need to make life any more difficult than it already is, which is... Largely caused by the potential of me blowing myself up with explosivo, but still it's something. I like the side, the uh, mirrored question mark. Kind of looks interesting. But I have seen how many tears have flown in random directions here, and I really do not want to be the last currently. And as such, I will not be. As such, I will simply leave. Let's just put one of these over here. Really? That's surprising. That's not something I expected. Then I really don't know where. Well, I guess it could be. No, that's a super secret room over here, probably. I guess I'll check out if there's a bomb here in case. Uh, okay. Not terrible. It is a large quantity of uh, things. I really should check out the suit. No, I'm not going to check out the curse room. <laughs> I'm just not gonna do it. We're not having fun here. We're here to win and that's exactly what we're gonna do today We're gonna finish up Judas and not play any silly business outside of picking up a random item in my item room that one time, but that's the limit of my silly business mm Okay, I mean, I mean I'm gonna do this though because that's okay. Well, that's just not great Oh, yeah. Seven seals is pretty good. The nails also actually not even that bad with the amount of health that I'm getting on these run this run here. All right, I just left. Uh, I didn't take anything. I was definitely contemplating for a second there, but then I just left. Not really getting any of those explosivo tears on lust here, but that's fine. It worked out. Shot speed down. That's actually kind of okay with this item, so I don't mind that. Our pill pool so far is fairly disastrous, but still, it's probably gonna work out, maybe. Not loving these floors much either, because it's a lot of flames, and it's a lot of trying to remember where I have to stand, and I don't love that either. Just don't love these floors. Uh, ghosts, but if it's only ghosts, and that's mostly okay. Even if they are a little bit tedious to kill, they, they're... They're getting destroyed. The Ghostbusters theme playing faintly in the background as we leave that place without worry. Well, slight worries. The, the worry is that I don't have a lot of health still. I have a lot of red hearts and we're getting more and more with every floor because of this trinket at least, but it's really my main source of health right now and I never really love that. Because it just doesn't offer that much protection. That seems kind of incredible with tech 10. Because if that just shoots, yeah, that just shoots random tech 10 tiers in random directions, so obviously. That's pretty neat. There's probably enemies in this room. I didn't want to wait for them. <laughs> I just wanted to leave. And that's what we did. Um, we could get this for free. But let's wait. I didn't see what card it was, unfortunately, which doesn't help. But you can move out of that properly. Soul of the Forgotten. 
I should still play around with Soul of the Forgotten. Surely it's not just terrible. Surely there's uses for it that I'm just not immediately seeing. But quite frankly, I'm having a little bit of difficulty finding those uses. Um, I don't really want to get more Devil Deal chance, I suppose, because we've seen what's in there and I don't really need any of that. Ooh, does this make it fun? Ooh, it's a fun shape. Occasionally, with those extra eyes, we're just shooting so many tears as well. Let's go for fun shapes for a little bit, see if it ends up being particularly powerful. That is a free chest thanks to an explosivo tier, and it ended up giving me all the money in the world. Very cool. I mean, obviously health is really, really nice to have large quantities of and getting more and more of as we progress, but this makes my tears look fun. And quite frankly, which one of the two is more important at the end of the day? And it is 100% fun tears. Please, Explosivo, thank you very much. Because look at that, that boss got nothing on us. Also, we got a speed up. Probably because of the fun tier shapes. So, yeah, I mean, I've made my point very clear, I feel. And as such, I will hear no further part of it. I have one bomb, which is worrying me a little. Amazing. Um, maybe I should just go for more health. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should just go for more health. I will open those two remaining red chests because I'm a little interested at least. But yeah, I've made my, I've made my decision, and I will have to live with it. I mean, there's still one more red chest remaining, of course. We will at least have a fully charged book at the end of this fight again, so that's at least something. Gotta find the positives in these things, you know. And this is a wave, jeez. Very spooky. I'd say that was worth it. Uh, yeah, we're just, okay, we're keeping, I'm sorry about the fun shapes, but unfortunately having large, large quantities of health is really nice. It's the second guppy's paw that I've seen today. And quite frankly, I love it. <laughs> I, I'm very pleased about this situation. Because this makes life significantly easier. So, yeah. We are playing it in the most consistent way possible, and we're not having fun. That is the purpose of this run. Oh god. Uh, not the most difficult room, but it doesn't help that it's so dark. Can't see much. Very easy to just run into some damage there. Don't have a map either, and this is all over the place, but at least all the enemies are dying because I'm dealing oodles of damage here, so I guess... Overall, I'm not too bothered about life. I have enough health to open the door at the end. There's a small chance that I'm going to leave through the wrong hole at the end, but I have reminded myself about the fact that the door exists, so... I'm gonna call that a win. I'm also just gonna use that real quick. I was kinda hoping that that one enemy would actually open up at some point there, but unfortunately it was just not to be. I think I've killed the enemies off screen there, so that's also quite nice. I think there's one more of those skulls here. No worries. All's good. Had to use Guppy's Paw for one of my red heart containers, unfortunately, but other than that, our health situation is looking wonderful. This floor is huge, which I'm not loving. But again, this, this build's really powerful. <laughs> Tech 10 is so good. Tech 10 plus anything is really nice. Uh, I'm gonna make my build bad. Nope, it's okay. I think he drops a pill after you pick him up, right? Might be worth... Feeding a lot... No, he doesn't drop a pill. Why did I... Oh, no, wait, he drops pills when he... When you clear rooms, probably, right? Yeah, yeah. That's probably what happens. Let's go find a shopkeeper and destroy him. And then we do a boss, and then we press some more buttons, and then we all have a good day. Another thing I guess I could forget is just another key piece, but I feel also that is fairly unlikely. Especially with this action right here. I could just leave the room, I guess, but that's also just not a great idea. Provided I just keep myself to ideas that I wouldn't call immediately terrible, I think we're gonna be okay. But I am always very tempted by the worst of ideas. And and then there's 
I just like to have fun occasionally, you know? Occasionally I like to play a video game just to enjoy myself rather than to see what kind of ridiculous nonsense I can get up to today. And then today's just not one of those days. Today I, I still have vague memories of playing as Judas the other day and just dying a hundred times and I really would like to prevent that from happening. And obviously, obviously the build right now is pretty much a guaranteed victory, but still it, it's always easy to get a little bit frightened of all the dangers on the road. And I'd like to just not have that fear. Actually for once, for the first time in my life perhaps even, reminded myself of what rooms were coming my way while traveling up here. So that's exciting. Uh, let's just do this. No need to make things too complicated. Please leave though. You were slightly in the way and it made it very tricky to navigate. Uh, all in all, kind of in the way, but overall not the worst. The worst time in the world, so that's good. Uh, still would like to find that shopkeeper. And I have gone in this direction at least three times now, because uh, every time I was like, this is probably the way to the boss. I should go in a different direction so I can explore more of the floor. And every time it was wrong. I also love me some buttons that instantly kill the entire room, because quite frankly, it nullifies the room. <laughs> Like you can kill all the enemies, but you can also just just press a button and end it, and that's good. That's a, that's always a good time. I like buttons. Three, uh, that could be good, especially with this right here. Let's just blow that up. That's a bunch of coins. That could be a bunch of useful consumables. I genuinely didn't notice that the room had enemies in it, so that's that's looking good. And, uh, yeah, another mystery gift. It's been a day of very similar items, which I guess I appreciate. I also just take the heart here. We'll come back for Guppy's Paw in a minute, but first let's just go see what is in our Devil Deal or Angel Room, hopefully. And then uh, we'll make our decision based on that. I'm assuming this... Alright, never mind. I was gonna say, I assumed it probably wasn't there because of that bomb that exploded so close to it, but yeah, fair enough. We we could have missed out on that singular troll bomb over there had we not gone into that curse room, so... Quite frankly, you understand that I've made the right choice here. Anyway... <laughs> let's go fight us a boss. It is the Great Gideon. I once again do not have a Chaos card at my disposal. But perhaps one day... I'll have a Chaos card. I mean, I have the Magic card, so that's, like, almost there. But 100% if I ever get Great Gideon and a Chaos card, it's gonna happen. It's gonna be amazing. I, for one, cannot wait. Just because I've never done it. I, I know what happens, but st I'm still looking forward to doing it at least once in my life. Just for the sake of having done it myself at some point. Call it a self-achievement. Doesn't count for anything in the game itself, but it, it's one of those things where you can say, yeah, I did that. I wasted that item on that thing. Uh, all right, double deal. Necronomicon. Yep. Maybe not Damocles, but I mean, I'll touch it because it's an active item. But I guess I just won't use it. But yeah, Bookworm's tempting just because it's two parts towards Bookworm. Hmm... Am I gonna get another angel room? Maybe. Maybe. Eh... Yeah, let's just leave. I'll take you. I'm gonna remember the door. I'm going to also remember to go back for Guppy's paw and also very actively keeping my finger off the use item button. Which would activate Damocles and 100% kill this run, so I would rather not... I'd rather not. If I had a Book of Shadows, I'd, I'd maybe consider it, but even that, I don't know... I don't know the tells of this item. It falls down after you've taken damage and you wait... a while. It, it, it's not guaranteed amount of time either, which isn't great. If that's an Emperor card, I'm taking that instead of huge growth. World card? Maybe not, though. Mm hmm? Maybe no, nah, no, nah, not that interested. But 
Yeah, if that was an emperor, then that would have been really nice for the last floors. So, yeah. But, oh well. Little tempted to blow up that shopkeeper over there just because it's, uh, it's right there where it is. Should I just waste all my health to try and get whatever's in here? It would be kind of fun. And that's why we don't have fun here. It's always leading to terrible situations. <laughs> you could arguably call that my own fault, but I don't think you realistically could without feeling at least a little bit bad about it. So uh, keep that in mind as I go on to the next floor and probably immediately use Guppy's Paw. I guess with low Devil Deal chances, I could actually just not do that, but simultaneously I wouldn't mind having the Eternal Heart at the end of the floor either. Oh, right, yeah, I need to use pills while I'm in a room because that baby's gonna just destroy everything. I need to remember that. I forgot I even had the baby, if I'm honest, because it's... I just don't have that many pills. <laughs> and none of the pills in my pill pool are good, so th that also doesn't really help too much. Come on. There you go. Why am I going into this room with four keys in total? Because I don't think about my decisions very much. And instead, just hope for the best. Unfortunately, it only had flies in it, but still, it could have been nice. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> we got conjoined, so... Yeah, don't, don't hate my decision on random item picking up, even though it could have been, like, Isaac's heart or something terrible, but, I mean... There are so many items in the game, so the odds of it being at least kind of okay are decent. <laughs> and we got a little bit of protection here with that half a soul heart, so... All in all, everything's working out. I briefly thought I saw an item pedestal at the top there when I saw one of those babies, but... It was the new item I just acquired. I just simply forgot about that sub room, fortunately. Okay. Not fortunately, because something just made the rocks go away. I did not anticipate that being a problem that we were going to run into. Also, had I known about this room being the way it is, I would have just run down. However, I was not aware. Don't really need the question mark card with my current item, I suppose. Health down, maybe not. Ooh, actually, I could actually just eat a bunch of health for soul hearts and then turn that into a health up and then use it and then still have a decent amount of health left. 3, 6, 9, 12, um, I can't imagine that's worthwhile, though. It's not a terrible idea, but I don't think it's worth it is really the, the main thing. Unidentified pill, that's exciting. Tears up. Again, should have done that in a room with enemies inside it, but still. We got a tears up, so I'm pretty happy about that. Knowing that that's in the pill pool is at least a good pill in the pill pool. So that's at least slightly exciting. There is green. My damage is really high. <laughs> uh, these these Tech 10 shots are just destroying worlds right now, and I appreciate it. We have a bunch of money. A lot of shielding enemies, which I'm not loving, but the fact of the matter is we can shoot them without actually being next to them because of all the situations going on here. Just going to press that button. Also, it already killed the shielding enemy, but still I like buttons, as I have said previously. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. That worked out. I was not panicked, even in the slightest. Disregard any words you may have heard during that room. <laughs> Those were just my fun sound words. That I like to make when I'm feeling entirely in control. Um, Are there any tinted rocks on this floor? I might have missed a couple, I guess, because I haven't been looking that carefully. But I probably should be looking at least a little bit. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. See, everything's under control. I don't know why people are worried. Uh, let's... Just, just, <laughs> let's stop shooting. <laughs> let's calmly destroy this tinted... Waste all of my things and then finally get a screw for a little bit more tear rate. There we go. I used the pill in a room with enemies inside it. Ooh, and that was actually kind of an accidental creative use of... Uh, of Explosivo by using it on that statue with a bunch of skulls next to it. And as such, just destroying the skulls that way. So it ended up working out. Very nice. Very cool. What card is this? Hanged Man. Eh, this is not terrible, but meh. Let's see what boss we're dealing with. It is the Siren, which could be worrying, because I haven't fought this boss in years. But 
so far this is okay. At least we're shooting in so many diagonals that that's working out. Not a devil deal, but that's sort of expected. <laughs> Explosivo destroyed the skull, which would have unlocked something for me had I not already unlocked it, so that's at least nice. But we didn't lose a uh, soul heart, or um, eternal heart there, so I'm actually just gonna use Guppy's paw there, just because I'm feeling a little bit more confident about life now. That's a lot of... that's a lot. I also wouldn't mind having a little bit more mapping during this run, but it is what it is. Uh, ooh! Okay, that could be interesting. Whoop! That'll work, right? Yeah! <laughs> Interesting new ways to destroy things. Uh, I think I can do this without losing the eternal heart. I usually forget. I feel blessed. I don't hate that. Ooh, it got rid of the curse. I actually didn't know it did that. I was just hoping for like a soul heart. Cool. We're not gonna get a soul heart, but you know, we got a lot of angel room chance. <laughs> and I got rid of the curse. That's really cool. Ah. <sighs> That's exciting. I really just thought this was a soul heart machine, but the fact that, it, like, uh, I guess Angel Room Chance makes sense, but I really didn't anticipate that one. Well, let's just press some more buttons here. You can hear when I actually learn something new when I'm genuinely excited about something. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That's fun. Health down again, it just keeps showing up. Yeah, I did ask for more mapping, so I'm a little happy that we actually got our map back, I suppose. That's cool. 59 coins? Wouldn't mind a shop without greed in it? Perhaps? Would be okay. But if not, then, you know, at least we're, we're having good times there. We're having a, a great build. We have unidentified pill. One makes you larger, but also clears most of the room. Because that poison effect is good enough to kill those very, very tiny enemies. Paralysis? Oh, well, imagine killing enemies with paralysis. That's a dangerous lifestyle. <laughs> Definitely not worth even trying, but still, it's a fun little thought experiment. If I had the hangman card, I could get all those hearts. That'd be neat. Um... Alright, so this teleporter is going to go over there, which is going to make that rock fly towards me. Uh, which is not great. But it would work. Kind of? Uh, would it work? This will probably work, right? Yeah, there you go. Oh, so hard. It was worth it. I would rarely bother with this room, but today is just a day that I feel like trying things and it's working out. <laughs> Learning all these new things about the rooms that are in this game and it's exciting. Explosivo might ruin my day here a little bit, but it's working out. <sighs> what a nice run we're having here today. For one, it's actually going okay, and for two, I'm learning all these new things. I'm experiencing rooms that I haven't really played around with. It's just nice. It's just good times all around. And it's not even greed. Uh, we have pretty astronomical chances for a Devil Deal Ranger room, but I'm still gonna blow up the man. Uh, might as well get the blanket as well, because it heals the red heart, gets the soul heart, gives you defense, queen of hearts. I've seen this card a hundred times lately, but here we have it again for a hundred and first. Probably should have put that in the room with the demon beggar inside it, because now that I think about it, probably just gonna play around with that for a little bit, because that's a lot of red hearts right there. But it is a nice unlock to have for sure for these kinds of situations. Might lead to an extra item, maybe? Might lead to an identified pill with a speed up. Pretty good, actually. I'd argue that this is already worthwhile for the large quantity of health that we have deposited. But if we could get like a... Like a cool robe that we could wear, then I would be very pleased about that. I mean, it's alright. I mean... Might not get a lot of use, but still, if we end up getting to the range where we only have soul hearts due to Guppy's paw shenaniganry, and quite frankly, it's unlikely because we have a lot of health available right now, but it's technically possible. It could end up being good. It's a little bit of extra damage, extra movement speed. I could also just eat all my hearts and not worry about life so much, but yeah, I don't really feel like doing that. 
Ooh. Just gonna keep trying though. I really don't regret my choices of hoping that the item's good because so far it just has been <laughs> every single time pretty much, so that's nice. Hematemesis. The pills, on the other hand, are unfortunate. I also once again have a run where gulp just does not exist, which isn't great. I once again have a, a way to just get large quantities of um, of pills and it's just not... <laughs> it's never gulp. I don't know why. I'm never gonna unlock marbles at this rate, but uh, we'll get it someday. Don't know why I even bothered to blow that up, because quite frankly there's no real point with that eternal heart right there, but uh, don't worry about it. Let's instead worry about mom's foot and the related shenanigans that are in this particular version of the fight, like those brimstone beams, the many feet, the different enemy types, the worrying situation. But we didn't even lose our holy mantle there, so it didn't matter too much. Uh, Polaroid would be pretty much guaranteed when this is a little bit quicker. Polaroid would obviously be really nice because of... Uh, well, if we somehow get to the point where we have... Um, the, 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 the only soul hearts, then it would be a really great time. Let's do another boss instead, though, instead of thinking and such. Explosivo is just going to destroy this boss, right? Yep. <laughs> yep, that is correct. It is just going to destroy this boss, and that's exactly what happened. We get our Holy Mantle effect again when we enter this boss room, but it's probably going to disappear the moment we go in this direction here. Because I think it only stays during the boss room, but still, another time, another map gone, but... Fine. So hard there that I can't quite reach unless we had a flight. And, uh, yeah, Tech 10. <laughs> tech 10 is clearing out rooms, and it is wonderful. Any run with Tech 10 is a good run. It, it's very rare that you're going to have a bad time with Tech 10, I feel, even though it isn't what it used to be. And really only barely. Like, it used to be incredible. Now it's just really, really good. I might take the world card just because I'm feeling lazy, but... I would have to get really huge growth, and I think it's just going to be really strong during the final fight here. Who's alive, little larvae? No fear. Only lasers. <laughs> What's pulling this health down? I've seen it so many times. One day I'll remember. Today is not that day, but one day I'll remember my pills. Unfortunately, that was a dead end. Uh, maybe not re-roll my whole build again, even though I have been having a little bit of fun here and there. Maybe I don't really wish to make it too ridiculous, of course. Ooh, that works. <laughs> again, Explosiva saving the day because I'm, for some reason, not picking up bombs. And I honestly don't have a very good reason for it. I just haven't really. I've just been walking out of the room. Mostly just because I want to run through everything as quickly as I can, but simultaneously... Bombs help me bomb out of rooms as well, so I should probably be getting a couple bombs here and there if they're on the way. Maybe not take paralysis instead of huge growth, though. But again, I wouldn't have minded having a map for this floor because I, I can see myself getting lost in this place. It is a confusing mess is what it is, and I'm pretty sure this was a room where it definitely couldn't have been the right direction, but I still went here anyway. I'll actually play with this for a little bit in the, va the vague hopes of getting a follower out of this at some point. And also, I guess, to do that. Which isn't a terrible idea. It's gonna go away on the next floor, but... I mean, for rooms like this especially, it's nice to have some movement speed, for sure. It does make life a little less tricky, arguably. Unless you go through the middle, which doesn't work. <laughs> it 100% it was not going to work. It was a terrible idea. There we go. That's a boss room. Who do we have today? Is it Scourge? It is Scourge. I mean, there's only three bosses or something like that on this floor type, so I mean, it was the odds were that it was going to be Scourge or whoever the one is that, that eats you. But I'm still happy I guessed it correctly. Let's go. If we can find our way, some way to get rid of that last red heart that we're going to get here, then that would be lovely, but I'm not exactly expecting it. Outside of just eating all my things, I suppose, but I'd rather not. I'd rather not eat all my red hearts. I like having just ridiculous amounts of health. 
this room is cleared. I don't know what I expected. There's a tinted rock here, though. A little tricky to see. But never a super special rock that are even trickier to see. Shame we didn't get a second active item either with that school bag, but you know, that's classic school bag life right there, I suppose. And simultaneously, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, more friends in the corner. More dead ends to be found all over the place. Will this run ever end, or will it just be infinite dead ends from this point on? It's unlikely. Impossible, one could, one could argue. But if I just keep finding, like, dice rooms that reset the floor, then theoretically I could make this run last forever. I guess my lifespan would be the end of the run at some point. Or the point where I would just, like, have a small break. But, I mean, you gotta know your priorities when doing these Isaac runs, you know? And if you have the potential to just play infinitely, perhaps that's just exactly what the world needs? Just to make an infinitely long YouTube video would be awkward to upload, I suppose, because of the inherent data limits when it comes to trying to upload literal infinite content. But still, that's, that would be the only difficulty I would, I would be able to see. Yeah, no worries. Let's go fight Mother now. <laughs> Enough of these shenanigans. Let's just uh, end this run right here. We have huge growth. We have so many tiers. We're shooting all different segments. There's explosions everywhere because of Explosivo. This fight should not last long. <laughs> we still have our holy mantle from our little blanket right there. If you could just do attacks like this all the time, that would be lovely. Because Explosivo is just going to destroy this boss that way. And movement speed isn't great, but I can definitely raise it with him. Um, or Babylon, of course. But I think this fight is about to end with all these explosions and lasers and whatnot, with huge growth damage flying through this boss as well. Generally, I had no idea where that boss was going to come from there, but it worked out. Apparently, we have some sort of pheromones effect as well, so that's exciting. And that is another thing done. Mother has been destroyed. We get Akeldama and the Belial baby for doing everything on hard difficulty as Judas. And that is another character fully completed. And we had not nearly as ridiculously of a bad time as the last time we played Judas. So all in all, it's just been a big win. It's just been a really nice run. And I like these cozy little runs from time to time. Either way, hope y'all enjoyed it. That's at least four characters completed. Probably more if we scroll past uh, Bethany and the Forgotten. We actually have a lot of stuff done on the non-tainted characters now. It's really getting pretty far. Unfortunately, there's 100,000 characters in the game, so we still got a ways to go. But, you know, progress is progress. Either way, hope you all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll do another run with a different character. And I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.